Uh, you saw the intro. Another glitch has been found. You know, 12 years after this game came out. That's kind of funny. And yeah, it was discovered by Zeta Damon. So huge thanks to Zeta for finding this awesome glitch. And what this is, is a similar glitch to the, you might know, the Pepper Hab glitch or the Flacker swapping Ahab glitch. Uh, it's a damage transfer glitch. Now, the reason why it wasn't discovered in so long is because the Deliverance has a special extra thing to it. So if you meet that criteria, then you can actually make this glitch do pretty much what Pimper Hab does. Oh, and if you're not familiar, basically Pimper Hab is where you transfer your damage launcher to your Pimper Nell, so you do like insane damage. Wow. So how does it work? So normally when you chuck the Deliverance, it's gonna fly and shoot, as you can see here. But normally when you swap away from the Deliverance after chucking it uh, to any different weapon, bad example there but basically it stops shooting it will fly around and not shoot at all let me try again here yeah see it doesn't shoot at all so we need to trick the game into thinking hey i'm holding a deliverance so therefore it keeps shooting and the way to achieve that is to match the pellet count so six pellets to your launcher aha so pellet count six for the deliverance bada boom six pellets and also you have to match the element too if this bada boom's corrosion and then the deliverance is fire uh, the game will not think you're holding the Deliverance. So, uh, match fire, match, you know, your uh, pellet count, and then it will start shooting. Uh, so, let's go ahead and chuck this and swap to the Deliverance. Or, sorry, chuck to the Bada Boom. And as you can see, it just becomes a, you know, broken weapon. Now, I should mention you can do this for any character. So, pretend I'm not Sal. I'm going to chuck this, swap to my Bada Boom. And, yeah, like, Axton can do it. Uh, Gage can do it. Anybody can do it. By the way, this is OP10, and we're not even using Slag. Uh-huh. The reason we're on sale today is because you can take the glitch even further, so you can transfer money shot to it to, you know, add that uh, extra damage on top of it. And then also overkill to make it even stronger. And then also offhand crit for even more damage. Let's let's slow down a little bit. So basically, if you don't know, when you're doing like pimper hab and stuff, if your launcher is empty in your right hand, uh, the game will think, oh, hey, uh, every shot you do will get money shot bonus. So when I chuck the deliverance and swap to an empty launcher or empty bada boom, uh, the game's gonna get full money shot bonus on the Deliverance. And so, yeah, make sure you empty your launchers before you swap to it, and then you get a stupid amount of damage. What's even more awesome is that you can actually double your damage by gun striking too, so we'll chuck those, swap over to the uh, launcher, and make sure the launcher's in your right hand too, because if you don't, it will not uh, transfer the damage. And we're also gonna offhand the Lady Fist so that if the Deliverance flies and crits, it will actually, you know, get that 800% crit bonus too. So you are a little bit at the mercy of uh, Deliverance AI, but for the most part, it does function pretty well. Basically, you chuck a couple, swap to your launcher and your Lady Fist, and then you just wait, and things die. Again, your pellet count of six, and your um, elements have to match. So if you get like a gentle Deliverance for the uh, vertical grip for eight pellets, uh, that will not work with the Bada Boom, for example. And then yeah, if you want to do a different element like Corrosion, make sure you're doing a Corrosion Bada Boom too. And then the setup pretty much the same. As for the other gear, you can slap on a B-Shield, but this is not a, like, you know, unlisted projectile weapon. So the amp does get split between all the pellets, and you don't really get that big of a bonus um, out of it. So, like, the B-Shield doesn't really do a whole lot for the build. But you can slap it on if you want a little bit of extra damage. And then for the class mod, you do want to boost your mag if you can, so get a neutral of some sort. Uh, make sure plus six on money shot, and then you're good. As for the bada boom, you want to go for pretty much all damage on it. Uh, at first, I was testing swap speed to, like, swap to it faster, but the Deliverance has to have time to set in and, like, start shooting at the enemy, so the swap speed doesn't really matter that much on it. So, yeah, I went for damage prefix, you know, Tor Grip for all the damage, and then Tor Exhaust for all the damage, and that will be your best elemental launcher for this. Here's the build, a pretty straightforward style build, nothing really going on with this. Uh, reload speed, reload speed, guns are duration. Uh, definitely get your money shot and overkill, you want that combo. And then, you know, small gun damage bonuses here and there. Oh, keep in mind, even though Deliverance is a T2 or weapon, uh, boosting grenade damage or uh, mag size, anything like that, does not matter for this glitch. In fact, your Deliverance can be level 1, and then you can have an OP10 bottom boom, and it would do the same damage. It's a damage transfer glitch, so it doesn't matter. Oh, also, you can do Deputy Badge if you want the extra reload, but I don't really find it necessary because I chuck one thing of um, Deliverances and then swap over and wait. But the Bone of the Ancients will be a much better damage increase. So, Sawtooth Cauldron, everybody's favorite map. Why not? We'll try this map. Uh, so yeah, pretty much you gun zerk, you do a chuck, you swap, you wait. And now the way you throw your deliverance will matter a bit. For example, shield guy here. Uh, I usually do an upwards throw like that so it can kind of like aim down and go for the crit. Uh, one thing you don't want to do is like be too close like that because then you'll start missing your um, shots there. So when you throw it up, it gives it time to kind of slow down and then kind of uh, turn around and uh, go into the enemy. All right, there's one more thing to show and that is the raid boss. You might've saw in the intro, it's uh, quite involved. 
probably not worth it, but if you are going to raid boss, you could do the strat. Uh, but we got to do something special. Now we're at Hyperius, and this guy has a stupid amount of HP on OP10. Uh, glitch, double HP. Uh, that number got fixed. In order to kill him, we got to use the World Burn. And you might think, oh dude, World Burn's times one for the pellet count. This is times six, so how do you get more pellets to make it match? Well, you simply get one Drunk Stack. Uh, one Drunk Stack with the Grog will give you five more pellets for a short duration, turning your World Burn into a times six launcher for a short duration. So if you get the lucky RNG to get a Drunk Effect, after you do your throws, it will match up with the element and match up with the pellet count, uh, transferring the 61 million damage to your um, pellets. So pretty much your shotgun is 61 million times 6 when you uh, have the glitch go off. Again, this is complete RNG, but let's see if we can pull off a kill here. So we're going to do a double throw here. We're going to turn around to kind of delay the deliverances a little bit. Let's do like 3, swap over. And then from here, I'm going to max on my mag size to get the most on money shot and... Uh, we're done reloading, so we can slap on more damage. And then now we kind of pray for a drunk effect. There we go, cool. And... I didn't get slag RNG, but yeah, you can see there, that was no slag. That much damage on OP10. Aha, uh -huh, it's pretty, pretty busted. Anyways, that's going to be it for today, so hopefully you guys enjoyed that cool glitch. Again, huge thanks to Zeta Damon for finding that. So yeah, be sure to try the glitch out for yourself. You know, have fun with it. Uh, you can do it on any character, Gage, Axton, Maya, whoever you want. Just match the element and pellet count, and then you're good to go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to drop a like. That'd be awesome. And you guys have a great day, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.